Good morning, everyone, even though it's not really morning, and welcome back to the kitchen. Today, we have yet another awesome recipe up for you. This time, we're going to be going a little bit classier by bringing you an anabolic Monte Cristo sandwich. We're going to have all of the ingredients for it you're used to, but just more anabolic. So, stay tuned as we go over the ingredients and then get into making it, and prepare to be blown away. In order to make your anabolic Monte Cristo, you're going to need egg whites, some black forest ham, fat-free cheese, I'm using fat-free mozzarella and fat-free cheddar. If you're able to get fat-free Swiss, you should use that because that is the traditional cheese used for the Monte Cristo sandwich. I just don't happen to have access to it. We're going to be using some low calorie bread. I'm using keto culture bread as each slice is only 40 calories. We have some mustard. I'm using Grey Poupon Country Dijon. We're going to have some confectioner's sugar replacement. I'm using Swerve. And of course, some pancake syrup. In this case, I am using Walden Farms to keep the calories negligible. To make our anabolic Monte Cristo, our first step is to assemble the sandwich. In order to do that, we are first going to measure out 28 grams of fat-free mozzarella and also 14 grams of fat-free cheddar. Once we have the cheese measured, it's time to build our sandwich. First, we need to put our bread down. Then, we need to add our mustard to our bread. Once we have our mustard applied to both of our pieces of bread, we now layer our cheese on. Once we have our cheese, our last step is to add approximately 100 grams of a Black Forest ham. Once we have the ham down, then we fold it together. Make sure you get all of your cheese up into your sandwich. Once we have the sandwich assembled, now we have to egg it. Because a Monte Cristo is essentially a French toasted sandwich, we need to make sure we have enough eggs to absorb into both sides of our bread. So we're going to measure out 92 grams of egg whites. Now that we have our eggs measured out, it's time for us to put our sandwich into the egg and then throw it on the stove to cook. So as is always the case when we're gonna be cooking something on the stove, we first have to get our pan preheated and hit it with the nonstick. Now we take our sandwich, put it into our egg whites, let it soak on one side for a bit, then take it and flip it to absorb on the other piece of bread. Once it's had some time to absorb everything, we put it on the skillet. You may note that there's still a bit of egg and cheese left over, so I'll just pour that on top. Unlike most French toast types of dishes, when you're cooking a Monte Cristo, especially you want to cook it a little bit more on the low and slow side of things because you'll need the cheese to melt on the inside and that's not going to happen instantly. So you give it enough time for the egg whites to cook while the cheese is able to get melted before you flip it around and then you cook the sides and get those browned as well. As you should now be accustomed to working in the anabolic kitchen, we have to check the doneness on the bottom. It's turning a bit brown, so it's time for us to flip. And now we let it cook for a bit longer on this side. As you can see here, sometimes due to the pressure of the sandwich, some of the egg whites are going to be squeezed out of the bread. When this happens, just try to let it cook for a little bit and then fold it up the side. Once you notice that the sandwich is not leaking quite as much egg white, it's time to cook the sides. So to do that, you'll get your spatula, get it under, and you want to hold. You wait for long enough for some of the egg white to cook, and it allows it to peel off. Then you rotate. Lastly, to finish it off, we put it back on the original side, just to get a little bit more browning there, and to reheat that cheese to make sure it's nice and melty. Now it's time for us to serve it up. So we'll put it on a plate, and now let's look at the presentation. A Monte Cristo is not complete unless it is topped with the confectioner's or powdered sugar. For that, we're using the Swerve confectioner's replacement, and this will behave just like the powdered sugar you're used to seeing on a Monte Cristo.
All right, we're almost there. Now, we know that sandwiches always taste better when they're cut on a diagonal. So, we're going to do that now. And will you look at that? Look at those layers. We're almost ready. We just have to top it with our syrup. And our anabolic Monte Cristo sandwich is ready to eat. All right, everyone, so here we are. It's time for the taste. Keep in mind, a Monte Cristo is really just a, is really just an elevated version of a grilled ham and cheese. But it's brought up so much more with the French toast, with the powdered sugar on top. So let's take a bite. Mm. Oh my goodness. The mustard actually just totally comes through. To be honest, even though I made it, I actually completely forgot about the mustard and it just shone through and just really brought it all around. With the sweet of the syrup and the powdered sugar, along with the tang of the mustard, it really brings it all together really nicely. So if you're looking for a recipe that's going to be anabolic and feel healthy and classy while you eat it, check out the nutrition facts for this sandwich. See if you can fit it into your eating schedule. All right, so everyone, I'm gonna continue to eat this. Before you go, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button, hit subscribe, ding that notification bell, and drop a comment down below. I've really been enjoying reading your comments and getting your feedback, so stay tuned. We have more to come, and until then, stay worthy.